previously on the Outer Worlds. Greetings, customer! You're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh, Reginald, Philippa, Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn! I'm never letting you out of my sight again! This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. I'm here for Minister Clark. That's funny. The Minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HTS. And what is it you're delivering today? You didn't bring it with me. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? Okay, well I don't have a package, so... Look at this dude! I'm just gonna... Alert. Alert. Oh! Alert. Alert. I didn't... It was his fault. I had nothing to do with it. Well... Maybe we could sneak around these guys. Oh... Okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. The is he gone? No, oh, he's okay. Uh, okay, go 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 go. Come on, hurry! Get in here! I hate you. You could have done this without killing anyone. I'm go up there. You see anyone scream? The dirt alert! Betrayal! <laughs> oh, I love that. They, like he, the, the other guys turn on each other. Room service. How did you get in here? You, you just slaughtered those guards, and for what? To speak with me? Yeah. What could possibly be so urgent? So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. Not impressed. If this is about another Aetherwave thing or Raiden's plot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Cut the crap. I'm here for the... the yeah, yeah, that. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if a chemical hurrier, but this guy is definitely not. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell is the one behind it. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Are we really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? If it's dirty, it's a job for sad. Guilty <laughs> indeed, my mechanical friend. Rife with the worst sort of corruption. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. Do you ever get the urge to just talk one on the floor? Yeah, I don't know either, Sam. Okay, show him the access card. Is this official enough for you? <laughs> I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, uh, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of form? Oh, what a shame. You don't have to be sarcastic about it. You don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and wave your form. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish fists and low on patience. They'll try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Oh. Good to know. 
Hi. I understand you're Maverick Johnston's new star. Well done. Hmm. Oh no. You know about it. Don't you say it's like Mer meet Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Ah, uh, fine. So, I can just go over here, right? I'm just gonna save before everyone murders me. Oh! There's a hole in the wall! Just a moment. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I won't be long because then they're admiring the architecture. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Hurry, hurry the fuck up. Get in here. Whoa. Oh my god. It's a nice view of everything. Oh. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Pardonnez-moi. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give you something to read that will put you in gray, soon, all of you will find yourself violently unemployed. I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots. How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this. While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, now let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate your mandated <laughs> grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Oh boy, I only hate that guy partially. I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. Oh, we can go through there now. Cool. What is even happening in here? Oh, they're enslaving animals. Hey, what's going on? Oh, Thanks wait a minute. You, Reginald, Philip, and the rest are up oh, it's him. I just took me a moment. So what are you doing here? Hmm? What are you doing here? I need to inspect the dimental uh, stuff. Top level clearance. After all, we're running low on the stuff. I really shouldn't be doing this. But you did help me out. Aww. Take this key card. It'll Thank take you. you to the hibernation lab where the remaining dimental sulfoxide is. If you're seen by any of the guards, however, I'm afraid I can't help. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Glad you know your sprats are doing okay. And we will just there. I don't need to go there. Oh my god, I just realized there's people in there. Wait a minute, are there are those people like me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a Mia. It's not cool. They're they're like freezing us and putting us to sleep in these tubes. So you're the reason I was on that ship in the beginning. It's frozen. Hey buddy. You okay? Maybe I can release these guys. They, they seem like they're they're being held against their will here. <laughs> oh, containment log. UDL security uh, scooped the subjects up from various locations around Halcyon. None displayed any behavioral 
abnormalities or homicidal tendencies. Whatever you do, do not open the cells. So open the cells. Be free, children. Revolution. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Good job, guys. You won. I think. Oh, there's more people in these tubes. Is it what this, uh, that menthol subfloxide is? Hmm. I don't like this. Um. Yes. 100%. Oh no. Why are you sleeping? We just killed a whole bunch of people. Oh no. Hey, Phineas. I hope you know what I had to do to get this stuff for you. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. When your chemicals in the ministry, the board was testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. I had to let the subjects die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. The colony's on the verge of collapse, and the board is trying to cover it up. I know! I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colonies to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. Are you saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Sand Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Can we just skip to the part where you ask me to do something insane? Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! We can skip the hope, don't you see? If we can't go to the hope, the hope will come to us. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Wonderful. Experimental methods for killing noxious life forms are not covered under this unit's limited liability agreement. Well said, whatever you are. <laughs> You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Alright, let's do this. I guess we're actually getting close to the end of this game.